a general equation for the for a cubic function gx is given along with the functions graph so we need to complete the specific equation by identifying the parameters as we need to find the value of a h and k using these three points okay uh, so the first point which we have is two negative two and one so if we substitute negative two and one over here i'm going to get because one is the uh, negative 2 is the x coordinate and 1 is the y coordinate. So this will be 1 is equal to a times minus 2 minus h whole cube plus k. That is equation 1. Uh, if we substitute this uh, uh, this uh, this point, so this will be negative 2 is equal to a times negative 3 minus h whole cube plus k. And then we have negative 5 is equal to negative a times negative 4 minus h whole cube plus k over here as well let's call it equation number three all right so uh, we need to get the values of uh, uh, a h and k over here that's what we are supposed to find all right uh, so uh, i think the best way would be uh, we have to eliminate uh, the variables from here so uh, let's do equation one minus equation three so if we subtract both the equations one minus of minus five is six so we have six times a is taken as a common factor minus two minus h whole cube minus minus four minus h whole whole cube and k and minus k will be zero that's what we have uh, if we want to simplify then if minus is taken out and if minus is taken out from here, minus and minus will become plus. So this can be written as 4 plus h whole cube minus 2 plus h whole cube. This is the value of 6. This is equal to 6. And I think let's call it equation 1. Not equation 1. It's already been named. So let's call it equation 4. Uh, let's do equation 2 minus equation 3. So if we do this, uh, if these two are subtracted, then this will become 3. Then 3 is equal to a times negative 3 minus h whole cube minus negative 4 minus h whole cube. Uh, and again, k is just cancelled and this can be rewritten likewise as 4 plus h whole cube minus 3 plus h whole cube. Let's call it equation number 5. So uh, now from fourth and five, uh, four, equation four and equation five, we need to we need we have two variables a and h, which we have to eliminate any one of them and get the value of uh, the other variable. So what we can do is we can divide both because if we divide, we'll get rid of a because a will be cancelled. So equation four over equation five. That's what I'm going to do. So six over three is just two, and a and a is cancelled. So we are just left with uh, 4 plus h whole cube minus 2 plus h whole cube over 4 plus h whole cube minus 3 plus h whole cube. If we cross multiply this will become 2 times 4 plus h whole cube minus 3 plus h whole cube. This is equal to 4 plus h whole cube minus 2 plus h whole cube. Now I'm going to uh, do some simplification over here. It might look weird, but that's uh, that will really help us to simplify other things. I'm going to write four as one plus three, which I can write because four is nothing but one plus three. And I'm going to write this uh, this four also as one plus three. And I'm going to write three as uh, three. Uh, uh, I'm going to write. Uh, this uh, 2 plus h as 3 plus h minus 1. So I'm going to basically write 2 as 3 minus 1. What is the benefit if I do all this? Because now uh, 3 plus h is common in all the four terms. So I'm going to uh, temporarily substitute 3 plus h as y. So if 3 plus h is y, this will look like 2 times 1 plus y whole cube minus y cube is equal to 1 plus y whole cube minus y minus 1 whole cube. So if we open this up, 2 times y plus 1 whole cube minus 2y cube is equal to 1 plus or y plus 1 whole cube minus y minus 1 whole cube. Let's bring this over on the left. So 
two times of this minus this will become just y plus one whole cube and let's bring this over on the right so this will be two y cube minus y minus one whole cube uh, now what we can do is we can open up the uh, using the perfect cube formulas that will be a cube plus 3y square plus 3y plus 1 this will be 2y cube as it is and this will be y cube minus 3y square plus 3y minus 1 so this will be y cube plus 3y square plus 3y plus 1 is equal to 2y cube minus y cube is y cube y cube plus 3y square minus 3y plus 1 so fortunately these two are cancelled these two are cancelled what are we left with and these two are also cancelled so what are we left with is 3y is equal to minus 3y adding 3y both sides 6y is 0 which means that y is 0 but y is not our original variable y is nothing but 3 plus h it means that 3 plus h is 0 which means that h is minus 3 okay so we got one variable h as minus 3 so if h is minus 3 uh, I can easily get the value of a from equation 5. So I'm going to write over here that from equation number 5, since h is minus h is minus 3, h is minus 3. So 2 is equal to uh, 4 minus 3 is 1. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to substitute it in equation 5. So uh, 3 is equal to 4 minus 3 is 1. And 3 minus 3 is 0. So this means that A is 3. And if A and H is, are both known to us, then we can use equation 1 maybe to find the value of K. So using equation 1, Uh, it will become 1 is equal to a times 1 is equal to a times which is 3 minus 2 minus h which is plus 3 whole cube plus k if I have done this correctly 1 is equal to 3 times minus 3 uh, 1 is equal to 3 times minus 2 plus 3 whole cube plus k so this will become 1 is equal to 3 because 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 cube is 1. So the value of k is subtracting 3 both sides is minus 2. So we got all the values. Uh, so our answer would be gx is uh, uh, a. So a is 3. uh this is h h is minus 3 so if we place h is minus 3 minus and minus will become plus so this is 3 and k is minus 2 so minus is already written over here so we just write 2 over here this is the final answer thank you